hello it's your girl cg on train and i am back today with a collective haul y'all um if you're new to my channel in good old texas fashion hey y'all and if you've been here before welcome back and next time bring a friend so i don't know if y'all watched my last video but y'all know i've been under the weather life has been doing its thing uh, we'll talk about that later like i have a video of like what's been up like you know what's going on in my life my spiritual journey um because y'all have got back into the church i started doing some other things um but i'm still here on youtube i'm i'm still here i just had to collect all my thoughts get over this cold which i'm still y'all can hear it i still got going on but we're gonna press through okay we're gonna press on through so y'all, y'all know in February, it was no by February. So the church that I attend, we did a February 4th to March, March 4th, no shopping challenge, unless it was something essential. And y'all know it wasn't that difficult. It, it was, I thought it would be difficult for me, but it wasn't. <laughs> but it's the after March 4th that has been difficult because y'all, hence this collective haul. So, there are a few things in this haul that are essential that I did need, but the other stuff, mm -mm, I probably didn't need, but it's springtime and we spring cleaning. So, we're getting rid of a lot of the old things in our closet and we're replacing them with new, more sustainable items, things that we can, you know, have for, from time to time and we're getting quality items. That's my goal, y'all. I also did a Shein haul, but that haul is basically just for, like, I think I have a lot of jewelry in that haul because, you know, I am a jewelry assassin, and I love statement jewelry. I love costume jewelry. So, I did do a jewelry haul with Shein because I don't spend a lot of money on jewelry and things like that, um, other than if it's a watch or something simple or something like that. So, when I do get those items, I will come back to you and show you the items that I got from Shein. There may be a few like clothing pieces, but it's more so jewelry, accessory type items like hats and things like that, I want to say. But this haul today is going to be a new end spring haul with a couple of other items through in that, you know, I just wanted to, that I bought and I just want to show y'all. Um, and also some items that I got from a youtuber that i follow and also she's on instagram as well um and i will show you her product as well so all that being said y'all let's get into this video okay because we can talk all day but we're gonna get a video done today i have been on the hunt y'all know i still work a full-time job and you know i can't afford to just not go to work and just do youtube content all the time so i have to go to work so when i do go to work i always look for those business casual pieces more so pants because um i love a good pant and that's usually you know how i'm dressed for work so the first item in this haul let's see the first place that i decided to go um we're looking for casual pants, business casual items, is H&M. Of course, H&M always going to have the pieces, okay? I don't necessarily you get shirts and things from H&M. What is this on my shirt? Y'all, look at me. Y'all got me out here all dirty. Anywho. But, um, yeah, I don't usually get, like, blouses and stuff from H&M because I feel like I could find a blouse anywhere. Like, for instance, this blouse came from Ross. Works just fine. Um. Maybe it's makeup. I don't know what I got on my shirt, y'all. But anyway, it's up here too. Oh, Lord. It might be makeup, y'all. Anyway. Whatever. So anyway, I get all of my slacks and items like that from H&M, places like that, TJ Maxx. So I went to H&M, TJ Maxx, and also Forever 21. I also hit up Charlotte Ruse. But I don't think I got any slacks from there. Uh, so, yeah. This haul is going to include H&M, Forever 21, TJ Maxx, Charlotte Ruse. I went to Sephora and Ulta. So, I want to show you all the things that I got from there. Oh, and I also went to Ross. But I only went to Ross to get these. Because I'm going to need these. So, got these at Ross. And also, I got a blouse from Ross. But we'll talk about that blouse later. But 
I needed these hangers. And this is a set of 35. These are the black velvet hangers. And they were $13.99. So if you're looking for hangers, velvet hangers, you want to change out all your hangers, go to Ross, go to DD's. You can get this pack of 35 or they also have packs of 20, depending on, you know, how many hangers you need. But I needed quite a few because, yeah, uh, me and Bay share hangers now. So he be taking all my good hangers. So I needed to get some more. Let me show you what else I got in Ross since we talked about Ross. Okay, I just got this top. Um, from Ross, I thought it was really cute. Um, I'm not gonna try it on y'all because I y'all can't I can't leak this nowhere. So it's just a sheer looking. It's like a cropped button down. I might try it on one of, one of the slacks when I try on some of the slacks, but it's like a cropped button down. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of cropped a little bit, doesn't go all the way down, but it's this sheer material. Get into it, and it has like these little fuzzies i like it it's made by the brand blue blossom and it was 9.99 they did have a pink one i should have got the pink one too but i mean i i think i only need one shirt that's made like this but it's cute little statement shirt little texture when you want to add a little texture to an outfit so i did pick this up at ross when i saw those hangers now let's get into the slacks so the first pair of slacks are going to be the slacks that i am actually wearing right now i actually took these out on the town i wore these to work yesterday so actually this is my whole outfit from work <laughs> yesterday because this is what i chose to uh record content in. so anyway these slacks y'all and i'm gonna show y'all on the side over here but these are the best slacks and let me see the name of these slacks are dang it here's the tag they don't have no name i wish they had a name because i want more just like this these slacks were 17.99 of course you see i got them on sale um they were 17.99 i got them in a size eight and y'all gotta find the name of these slacks because i want all colors these slacks are, I mean, I love them, y'all. They're so comfortable. The pleated detail that they have on the top. Um, I just love everything about these slacks. And I can't, I can't like, not like them enough. I love how they fit. They fit the waist really good. I didn't know I was a size eight, but in H&M, I can wear an eight, I can wear a six, I can wear all sizes. It just depends on what cut or what, you know, line at h m it is but these slacks right here yep doing it every time love them okay so the next pair of slacks that i got from h m are going to be these now y'all i know i'm just now getting on the bandwagon but shop the men's section y'all i'm just now getting the girl has been saying go get your pants at the men's section because they fit better now, I only have one pair of pants that I bought from the men's section, and that's a pair of Gap slacks, and I really do like those slacks. So, I went to H&M, and I went to the men's section, found these four-way stretch uh, men's gray slacks, and y'all, I needed a pair of gray slacks because I didn't have one, but these, and y'all can see what they doing on the side. Y'all, these are the regular fit elastic waist coupe standard men's slacks. I guess that's just what they are. They retailed for a hundred, no, I take that back, $39.99. I got them on sale for $22.99. So it's just a gray, a gray slack. And I love the fit of these. Um, I can't wait to wear these to work with some kind of cute outfit. Maybe that little shirt over there. I don't know, but these are cute. And they're gray. Also got another pair of black slacks because you can't have enough you can't have too many pair of black slacks now those slacks i got them in a size hold on let me see i got these in a size us 29 in men's um when it comes to them numbers y'all don't be knowing what size i wear so i have to try them on before i leave the store um these are a size 33 regular now these are a little bit too big but that's okay. I'm going to take them to my girl and she going to bring them in on the side 
or I could just put on a belt uh, and wear like a blousey shirt. Doesn't matter, but I really like these because they're the slim fit H&M trouser. This is also a man's trouser. It was on sale for $19.99. And I love it because it has this tuxedo stripe down the side. Mm, love this. I have a nice little satin blouse that I can put with this. Um, the inside is really nice. Like, look at this, y'all. These are so cute. So dope. So, y'all, don't forget to shop y'all's men's section. Of course. I just love this pant because, like I say, you can't have enough black pants in your wardrobe because, you know, you don't want to be wearing the same black pants because then you're going to wear them out. So, you got to get you another pack. I also got this pair of jeans these did come from the women's section they were $17.99 these are a wide leg straight low-waisted but they don't seem low-waisted so they're not high-waisted you'll see how they look on me but they're not high-waisted but they're by the brand divided um and these again are in a size six so like I told you it depends on who makes the jeans but they are this cute little grayish acid wash e color with brown threading y'all peep the threading um love these thought these are really cute when i try them on i can put them on with brown you can put these on with pretty much anything but i really do like the stitching the black and the brown together i think some brown boots may set this off or a brown heel since it's about to be springtime but we wearing our wild leg jeans y'all i may do a jeans video as well to show you what jeans i'm getting rid of and what jeans i'm keeping the wild leg jeans are staying um, the skinny jeans, uh, I might keep a few, but me right now, I'm loving a wide leg jean, so. I also saw this little top. Um, it was on sale as well. It's very, very lightweight. Um, it is in a medium. Uh, I don't know how much it was. I don't know how much, I don't know where the price. Oh, hold on. They got a price. Let's see. This blouse was $13.99, regular $29.99. It was on sale. So I picked up this little blouse and I just like it. I thought it was cute. Um, this is a, I want to say it's black. The striping is black. Definitely perfect for work. Put this on with a nice pair of slacks. Cute little belt and some shoes. Boom. And we good. We got us an outfit. I forgot. I did, while I was shopping, I did find an Express Factory outlet. Here we go. And I wanted to see what they had in there. I didn't know because I usually don't go to Express. I'm not really an Express girl because they high. Y'all know they high. But um, if you like Express, you like Express. Um, but I found these pants. They were 60% off of the regular price. So I got them for like $20. So I didn't mind. And they are this cute girl, this color though. Come on, color. Now look at these. These satin, satin pants, they have pockets. Uh, got the express tag. They have pockets and they're cute. They fit really, really cute. I got them in a size small. They are the wide leg super high rise. That's all it says. Wide leg super high rise is what it says. But look, I love these. The color itself. And this does not just have to be a fall color. This can be a summer spring color as well. If you put on like a vibrant top, I'm thinking something like a lime green color top with this. You could put white, but I'm feeling like lime green going with this. Like, I feel like that go, that's going to go together real bad. But yeah, I picked these pants up as well. I forgot all about them pants. Um, Okay, now let's go to, y'all know how when y'all about to check out, that checkout line be getting you, they got me. For some cotton rounds. I think I paid $3.99 for these when I could have got these at the dollar store for a dollar. But Fab Twenty got me for the cotton rounds. $3.99. Okay, but I needed these. So I picked them up. <laughs> so y'all, while I was in Fab 21, honey, I was doing that clearance rack, and that clearance rack had some stuff on it that was clearancing. Really, I didn't really find anything that I just love, love, love on the clearance rack, but I did find this blazer, honey. This cropped blazer. You see that purple? Come on, spring Easter suit. Okay. This blazer was $39.99 regular. But then they had an additional 
Let's see. Hold on, let me tell y'all. They had an additional 70% off if it had this little line stripe. Y'all see that thing? If it had a little line stripe across it, it was an additional 70% off. So this blazer from Forever 21 was $5.70. So you know I wasn't leaving it at the Forever 21. Okay. Y'all see that? Ooh. This is going to be cute with some black slacks. Maybe even some jeans. I got some little cute little purple booties. Ooh. Because we still wearing our booties in the spring. We ain't putting them up yet. We not putting them up yet. Y'all, look at this. This is so cute. Little crop blazer. Cute with some jeans. Uh, blue jeans, black jeans. Any kind of jeans. Brunch. I'm feeling this for a nice brunch. I'm feeling this for Easter. This could be my Easter suit. I love it. Thought it was really cute. And for $5, I should have got all y'all one. But really cute love that okay next item that i got from forever 21 i'm so in love with these pants y'all these are a look at the just look at the these were not 70 percent off but they were on sale for 19 dollars. you can't see it but these are a faux leather pair of pants i know about to be spring i'm gonna get these in for the spring if i just got to put them on and don't go nowhere I'm going to style these pants up because they are a wide leg trouser, but it's faux leather. And I got them in a size small. The coating, they say, is polyurethane based fabric, 100% rayon. So don't come near me with a match because I might blow up. But these are really cute. Look at the pattern on it. It's given like acid wash black denim but it's not it's actually a faux leather pant and you're gonna see how they fit on me y'all couldn't leave these at the store i don't care if they was 29.99 this pattern alone just set me off like i was like oh yeah i got to get them and i better be able to fit that small because your girl done lost four pounds and i think it's a lot but i lost four pounds um so look at that i love these Y'all go check out Forever 21 while they got this sale going on. The next pair of pants, y'all, I'm going to have to take to the tailor because, as you can see, they're going to be a little long. But Pinstripe is having a moment for spring. So we're going to applaud everything Pinstripe. I did order a pair of Pinstripe pants from Shein. I'm waiting on those, but they are black. But look at this blue. Look at this blue. Yo, look at that. Mmm blue pinstripe pants from forever 21 these pants were 17 dollars. i got them in a size medium the pockets in the back are faux the pocket on the side come on now it is real this is a real pocket in the front but the pockets in the back are faux it just comes with this single black button here we go y'all zoom in on the button okay single black button and they are a wide leg as you can see I'm feeling it. I love these. They are just a bit long for me. So I would have to definitely put on a high, high heel or just go get them tailored uh, to fit my ankle. But I don't know. I'm not mad at them that they that long. I'm really not. And then the last pair of pants that I got from Forever 21, these were $17 as well. I got them in a size medium. And yeah, size medium. And they are these gray pinstripe pants that have this little satin detail waist can y'all see that they have a satin detail waist and they are a pinstripe the leg on these though look at that leg it's it's really billing okay it's really wide leg but i really do love these i thought these are really cute when i saw them and i was like i gotta have them too pockets in the back are faux pockets pockets on the side are real all right love these okay loving these had to get them, y'all. Had to get them. Because it kind of puts you in the mind of like a long skirt, but not really. And I feel like this would be cute with like some uh, white basic top. As you can see, I have this white basic top on. And also a pair of tennis shoes. Like this would be cute with a pair of tennis shoes. So, loving these. 
I went to Charlotte Rouge. And in Charlotte Rouge, y'all, I wasn't looking for anything in particular. I was just trying to see what they had for the low low. You know? For the low. Just wanted to know. Okay, so. But while in there, I was like, you know what? They had a sale rack that had $6 tops. And y'all see the blue one. Um, but I just picked up this little purple top. It's just a little stretchy top. I wish they would have had it in white. It's just a little stretchy top, just a little basic. Um, it's made out of polyester and spandex, just a little cute little spandex top. I got it in a size large because I wanted it to be fitted but not tight. So I got a large. I got it in this purple color, and I also got it in this green color. They did have other colors, but I think these were the only ones that I, I really just gravitated towards. So you see how stretchy it is? It's going to be really cute with a pair, a nice pair of slacks. Business casual is summertime. I live in Texas. Spring and summer be hot sometimes. So sometimes you just want to put on a shirt and some pants and go on about your business. You don't want no jackets. The next item that I found on the clearance rack, uh, this skirt was, I want to say, how much was the skirt? The skirt was $10. It is just a maxi skirt. Oop. Black and white maxi skirt striped has like a little split on the side. You'll see what it looks like on me, but this is just really cute. I thought it would be a really cute piece to put with some tennis shoes. Um, I wouldn't necessarily wear this to work. You can actually wear this as a whole dress, you know, and maybe put on a pair of shorts underneath. Okay, because the split is kind of high if you wear it as a dress. It's meant to be worn as a maxi skirt, but knowing me, I may make it a dress. Um, but yeah, I thought this was really cute. Got the little split on the side and $10. Couldn't pass that up. I'm coaching track again, y'all, this summer. So I'm going to need some items that are going to be very loose, very comfy. And so sometimes I may just want to dress up a pair of shorts. So they had these little shorts. They were like, buy one, get one. These fleece shorts, okay, you buy three or something like that. Anyway, they were $5. So I got this gray pair, and it has NYC on the bottom. Cute little tank top. With, I mean, I'm sorry, cute little tank top or just a basic um, T-shirt like you see me in the video would go cute with these. Um, and just some tennis shoes just for, like, running errands, um, if I'm going to track practice, anything, something like that. This would be cute. And also, I got this seafoam color, and it just has the number seven on here. And again, these were like five bucks. Okay, we got some little some string coming off of it too, but that's okay. Um, and I got these, and I got these in a size medium. Again, comfy tank top, t-shirt, tennis shoes. Going on about your day, honey. Run your errands, okay? You can go jogging in them if you want to. We're going to go to TJ Maxx. First, I'm going to show y'all some accessories I got at TJ Maxx now. Y'all girls been on the internet, and I've been watching y'all while I couldn't spend no money. I've been watching y'all. So, I follow a YouTuber, Jerenica Marcia, and she always at the TJ Maxx getting them Bottega dupes. Now, y'all, I was up in there looking for them because when she bought hers, I, didn't, I couldn't go. I couldn't go because I was in my no-buy era. So I was just like, I'm going to stick to it. I'm not going to buy it. But I went in the TJ Maxx and found two, two bags. I'm going to show you the big one first. Okay, so I picked up this one. Y'all look at that. Ooh, it's giving Bottega. It's giving Bottega. Look at it. Mm. It's big bag. And big bags are coming back, y'all. So the strap is braided, as you can see. Can y'all see? Loving the bag for those reasons, okay? So I picked up this black one, and y'all, I picked up this one, y'all. Look at this. <laughs> I don't have a green bag, and now I do, but look at the details. I'm gonna let it sit there for a minute so y'all can see. Okay, y'all saw that? Okay, good. Uh, has a little knot here. This is a Bottega dupe. This leather is so soft. It's also made by the brand Urban Expressions. This bag was $29.99. $30. Okay? $30. 
And it also comes with a shoulder strap if I wanted to wear it as a crossbody. Well, it should, but I don't feel it in here. Oh, here it is. I do feel it. Okay. Oh, and it's thick, y'all. It's a gold one. Y'all can put this with any bag. I'm so glad I got this. Oh, I'm glad I got this. Because look at that. I can just have the gold strap, but I think I'm just going to carry it like this, of course, because it's giving Bottega without having to pay Bottega prices. Uh, but yeah, cute. Love it. Get into it. The big basket weaving. I like that. That's cute. And it has a gold strap. So if y'all at TJ Maxx, y'all go get y'all one. Okay. And then the last bag that I got at TJ Maxx, this is not a dupe of any kind, but it is this. Like, I saw this and I was like, now they did have a tan bag, like the Bottega Duke. They had a tan one, like that one, like the green one, but I was torn between that one and this one. I was like, should I get two of the same bags in the same style? Mm-mm. So I went with this one. This bag is $24.99 and I could just see this on vacation, like just this. Just this bag, like y'all get into it. You see the print and you see the bamboo uh, holder or hand holder, what, what you call this? Handle, got the bamboo handle. Um, this bag was $24.99, it's made by the brand Savannah. Thank you Savannah, because you cute. Now on to this bag. Y'all, when I tell y'all, <laughs> I was in TJ Maxx looking for the slacks. They got the slacks in TJ Maxx. Now, y'all, I'm going to go in my closet. Once I put all this stuff away, I am going to actually take out all of the old slacks that I no longer wear, no longer want to wear, can't fit, don't serve me no purpose. I'm taking them out and I'm donating them so I can make room for these new slacks that I picked up because these new slacks will last because I paid a nice price for them and they're good quality. So here's the first pair. Hmm. I'm on my gray. I'm on my gray. I'm on my gray stuff right now. This is cute. These are Jones and New York. These are a pair of, it's a crop wide leg high rise. So it's more so of a culotte almost. Like y'all remember culottes? Mm. I see these with my platform flats, like in a cute little black top. It has the stitching down the middle, which I'm not mad at the material though. Mm -mm. Material is like a spandex like workout material um so it's gonna cinch you in in the waist as you can see yeah it's made of five percent spandex got some nylon and some rayon other than that i think they were cute these were 24.99 and these were at tj maxx i know i told y'all i'm in my gray era because i've been looking for some gray slacks that you know so i got these these are by a brand called jl atelier i don't know who he is but these were $24.99 as well. These are a boot cut um, slack. And look at that. I just love it. Mm. These are, to me, these fit like the men's trousers. But, of course, they are women's trousers. But they fit like the men's trousers, which I like. I like that fit on a slack. Um, like I said, these pockets in the back are faux pockets. They're not real. But the pockets in the front are real pockets. So, if you're looking for cute little business casual, you need to elevate your workwear, go to TJ Maxx because they have the things. Okay. These are cute. Okay. I was in the market for a pair of tan slacks because the kind that I, the pair that I had, I got them from Fashion Nova and y'all them just don't shop. Us. If you like Fashion Nova, girl, good. I've shopped on Fashion Nova and Everything that I've got for Fashion Nova, I, I, I've never liked. I've even had to go get it tailored, um, which those pants I had to get tailored. And now I done washed them a couple times. I don't like them no more. So anyway, I got another pair of tan slacks. These slacks are by the brand Max Studio. They were $19.99. And they have the pleating detail in the front. Ooh, I love a good pleating. Nothing in the back. They do have the little pleats in the back, but no pockets in the back. They do have pockets in the front. And these fit really cute. These are a nice casual slack. These fit like the black pants that I actually have on right now. So I actually really do like the fit of these. You can add a belt. You can put this with so many different 
um, things. You can, one of those little colored shirts I can rock with this and a pair of shoes and baby, I'm out the door. So I really do like these and I like the cut of these. So these are really nice. The material is good. I see them lasting for a while. I may just start putting all my work slacks in the cleaners because or just washing them and hanging them up because I just don't want to mess these good, good pants up. Okay. The next pair of slacks that I got, <laughs> these are by Rachel Zoe. Come on, Rachel Zoe. These are a high rise straight leg. Got them in a size six. Most of the pants I got in a size six or a medium. Okay, these were $24.99 and these are a pinstripe, another pair of pinstripe pants. So I got gray pinstripe, blue pinstripe, white pinstripe. And then I'll, like I said, I ordered a pair of black pinstripes. So I think I'm good on the pinstripes. But these are $24.99 and these are really, really cute. Like I love how these, how these look. These pants are really dopeness. I see this with a cute black turt, black turt cute black shirt um and let me get close did y'all see up close okay it's kind of like that stretchy spandex material too i'm sure it has some type of spandex in them but these are really good for work and the last pair of pants i got y'all from tj maxx are gonna be my summer staple baby because these cute y'all gonna see these pants a lot a lot a lot because i'm gonna wear them a lot a lot a lot because they spring and they summer pants these are by rachel zoe as well these are in a size medium these were $24.99, and baby, look. Mm. Look at the details. You got the palm leaves. You got some other leaves, some yellow flowers, some pink flowers. You got, these could be my Easter pants, too. I could wear these on Easter, too, because, baby, these are cute. Okay? These are cute. They are a silky material. They're more like a satin pant. There are pockets in the front that are functional. Um, You got the elastic band here. But get into this print, y'all. Get it. Let me get y'all into that print. Mm-hmm. Y'all see it? Yes. These are cute. I love these. And like, like I said, what we're doing this year is we're getting items that we can have for a long time that's going to last us for a while. Because I'm tired of buying and buying and buying pants and wash them and they get them little beads on them. Them fashion over pants. Get them little beads on them. And then you got to give them away. So, yeah. No more of that. We buy quality pants. So, TJ Maxx is my go-to for the dress pants. If you work in a business casual setting, girl, go to TJ Maxx. So, guys. I went to three beauty stores where I get my beauty products from. And we're just going to talk about the first one being... Miss A. I don't know if you have a Miss A in your malls, but y'all, I go to Miss A for two things. Makeup brushes and brow pencils. In this store, everything is a dollar. But y'all, these slim brow pencils have been my saving grace. Like these are... I got two in the color dark brown, and then I got three in the color medium brown. Because when I go sometimes, they are sold out. So, I got to get them in fives. I still have a couple that I have not opened yet, but this just adds to the collection. Because, honey, they do my brow so good. Like, I really do like the creaminess of the pencil and they work wonders on my brow. So I go to Miss A to get these dollar pencils. Okay, you would think y'all spending $25 on an eyebrow pencil and they got them for a dollar and they work really good. So had to get those. Another thing that I get from Miss A are brushes. Like I get makeup brushes from them. So I was in the market for another foundation brush. And so I'm going to try like, all they brushes be, like, a dollar. Like, look at this. This is such a good... Look at that. They say AOA on the... It's AOA Studio. I guess that's Miss A. I don't know. But this is going to be a good foundation brush. Because I put my foundation brush in. I mean, and this one came from Miss A, too. But look at it, y'all. I don't even have the energy to clean it. So, guess what? Boop. Trash it goes. And now I have two 
new ones. The next two items that I got while I was in there were, and like I said, everything in the store is a dollar. I got these little under eye pads. I wanted to try these. They are by Lux Beauty Care. Can y'all see? Okay, Lux Beauty Care. They are the gold hydrogel under eye pads. They hydrate, they soothe, they soften. 15 minute therapy. When I get ready to go, you know, take a bath um, and unwind. I can put these on because I'm noticing, you know, y'all can't see it, but I'm getting a little wrinkly under there. And that the way 46 set up, I know 47 trying to come around the corner and take me down, but I ain't going to let it because I'm going to put these eye masks on. Um, and then I also got these neck warmers. Um, y'all know sometimes when y'all go to the nail shop, they, they usually have eye patches too. Like when I'm in the tub, baby, I'll put the eye patch on, girl, and I'll be somewhere else. Okay, but I didn't see the eye patches this time, but I did get the neck warmers. Because y'all know y'all when y'all go to the nail shop, they put that hot thing around your neck. I think that is just so soothing. So I got I picked up two of these and they do work. So again, they were only a dollar. And you get four hours of heat therapy with this um, for your neck and your shoulders. You know, release the tension, you know. So I got these. So that's come, that came from Miss A. The next store I went to was Ulta. Okay. So in Ulta, I went to Ulta because there is a Instagrammer that does makeup that um, I follow. And I saw him. Yes, I'm him. I saw him using um, this lip gloss slash lip color. Um, and I was like, ooh, a gloss and a lip color in the sun. And I don't got to buy two of it. Uh, yes, Juvia Place, they got them. So I went to Ulta and I picked up, this is the Juvia's Place Volumizing Gloss Stick. That's what they're called. So I have one in the color Sugar Cookie. I have one in the color Pink Velvet. And I have one in the color Rich Honey. And I will do swatches. I also got a lip liner in the color Scorpio. So it's like a brown. Uh, I'm not going to open this, but it's in the color Scorpio. And it's like a brown. You know, maybe one day I'll do a makeup tutorial. I ain't no makeup artist, but I can do a little something, something with a little something, something. Okay. So let's do some swatches, y'all. So y'all can go out and get y'all some Juvia's Place Volumizing Lip. Lip, lip. Okay, so oh, here is the Juvia's Place um, lip color in the sugar cookie. And we're just going to swatch it. Y'all, it's a gloss and a lip color all in one. Okay. Can y'all see that? Y'all see the gloss and the color? And I'm more of a natural girl, so that's going to work. Look how cute that is. Mm. That's the color sugar cookie okay then i got also got it in the color pink velvet and see he had one it was in a peachy color they didn't have a peach when i went but that's okay i got these these were 15 dollars a piece okay this is pink velvet look at that pink velvet sugar cookie y'all see that and it's got the gloss already in it. Y'all see that? Mm. You just need one of these. And you don't even have to have no gloss, no lip liner. You know, put your little lip liner on, but that's all you need. And then this one is in the color Rich Honey. And it's more so of a neutral, neutral color. We'll put this one right here. Let's do Rich Honey. Look at that. See, it's more of like a clear gloss you see it look at that oh look at that that's cute y'all so i know i'm gonna have some fun with these here are your colors you got the rich honey you got the sugar cookie and you got the pink velvet y'all see that it's gloss and lip color in one juvia's place girl see this is why i'll be on instagram scrolling and scrolling and scrolling because y'all be making me go spend my money on this stuff but I'm going to wear these. Oh, okay. And then I also picked this up from, from Ulta. This is the tea tree, the tea tree, the tree hut ocean glow. It's hydrating body oil. Now I use tea tree products, y'all. Um, I love them. 
Okay, I haven't used this yet, but yeah, this is going to be good coming out the shower. Mm-hmm, that smells good. And that's in the, in the fragrance Ocean Glow. Now, they have all fragrances of this um, product because I use this product to shave my head. And I have a few of the ones that I kind of use. Like, I have the Moroccan Rose. This is the... Uh, moisturizing shave oil and this is the moisturizing shave oil in cocoa lime so y'all i do use this see i'm running out of this one i use these to shave my head and you know it underarms and everything else because this is a really good shave oil and it smells good i also um recently picked up now you can get the, sh the shave oils i usually get from target um i got the oh and i also got a body scrub oh i didn't bring the body scrub in here but i got a body scrub i got the body scrub from target as well and i also got the um tropic glow this this is the shea butter um uh, whipped shea butter firming whipped shea butter from from tree hut i might need to just do a tree hut video because they might want to go ahead and give your girl a coin what y'all think y'all think i might have to go on instagram and tag them a couple of times but Love this. And then I recently picked this up from Walmart. So, like, Tree Hood everywhere. You can get it at Walmart. You can get it at Ulta. You can get it at Target, online, Amazon. But this is the Foaming Gel Wash. And it's hydrating. Glow. It's watermelon. I just got it because um, I needed some body wash at the moment. I was out of town, and I just saw this, and I just picked this up. So, that's why I picked this up. But it does smell really good. And it's in the phrase watermelon. I know these fragrances are all over the place, but... I like a little sm to smell a little bit of everything before I like stick to one that I like, you know, per se. But the watermelon smells good. I love Tropic Glow. The shave oil in this is good. And then I wanted to try this um, Ocean Glow. Actually, I like it as a body oil. I didn't see that in a shave oil, but hopefully they'll come out with it soon. And the last place that I stopped was at the Sephora. Mm -hmm. At the Sephora. So I had a gift card that I needed to spend um and i wanted to try a couple of things from sephora that you girls online been using so i went to the sephora so first of all the thing that i got from sephora is i needed see what happened was y'all let me show y'all something y'all my mom had this this is sol de janeiro the body radius these are the people who make the bum bum cream if you don't know about bum bum cream De Sol de Janeiro makes the bum bum cream. So my mom had this in her bathroom when I went to visit girl and she only had like this much, right? This much. So I was like, oh, mama, let me have that. That smelled real good. So of course, you know, she did. She let me have it. Um, and so baby, I didn't use it all up. Okay. So I told her when I went to Sephora that I was going to buy her a new one. Well, bought her a new one, called her to find out she already bought some more. So she said, you can just keep that. So guess what? This is gonna be my travel one, okay? I'm gonna keep this to travel with uh, because I can get rid of this one now. In addition to that, I also got the big one. And I got this flavor. So the big one is, this is tuberose. Let me see, what's the Rio, Rio Radiance is solar tuberose and cocoa. Um, that's the fragrance on this one. And this one, I smelled this one while I was in the store. This is Brazilian Crush. And this is another fragrance I saw, De Janeiro. This is Brazilian Jasmine and Pink Dragon Fruit. This one smells really good. These are perfume mists. They're not perfume, but you can mix and match these with other fragrances that you may have in your collection. And they smell really good. They last uh, the Sol de Janeiro, I think it lasts pretty good. Usually when I take my clothes off at the end of the day, I can still smell it on my clothes. So I think they last pretty good. But I went ahead and got the pink and the Rio Radiance. I got another one. Now, the other ones they they have, I smelled them and I'm not a fan. Um, so I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't recommend those. But if, if you want to, you can. Okay, if you want to, you can. Okay, so while also while I was in Sephora... I picked up a, just a lip gloss. I was just kind of like in the lip gloss section and I picked up this uh, gloss, this lip gloss. It's just a Sephora brand lip gloss and it's in the color Brave. So here's the color. I'm not going to open it, uh, but here is the color. Just so you guys can see. I'm not going to swatch it because I just want to swatch those Juvia places one so y'all can see. Y'all see it's still shining. 
So I also picked up this um, Sephora hydrating serum. So I currently have been using the Good Molecules moisturizing cream on my face. I don't know if you could tell, but um, I think it works really good. So I wanted to get a overnight serum, something I could put on my face and kind of like retain the moisture from the moisturizer. I may just use this as a nighttime and just do the Good Molecules in the morning. I don't know, but we're going to see, but I'm going to try it. I've been looking for like a hydrating serum or something I can put on my face. You know, usually I just use soap and water and that's been getting me by. But now that I'm getting older, you know, I'm starting to see different things and my skin is changing. So we want to keep it the way it is. Okay. Then the last two items were two items that I got from the brand Milk. The good girlfriends on Instagram and YouTube, y'all been talking about the setting spray the grip the grip set spray so i got the travel size just in case i didn't like it i went ahead and i got the travel size and this tra the travel size this is also a makeup refresher so you can put this in your makeup bag and like if you out somewhere you maybe it's a sunny day maybe spray this and do a little pat 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 and your makeup gonna come back to where it used to be so i picked up the setting spray um from milk and then what I really wanted to try was this, like the grip primer. I wanted to try the primer for sure. So basically this is a, I want to say this is the big bottle because they did have a travel size of this as well. I got the hydro, the milk hydro grip primer. And um, I'm going to try this and see, you know, if I like it better than I like the I gotta use this all look the elf power grip primer because the girl sent me to the store to get this and I didn't use this up so now I'm gonna switch over to the milk uh, brand and see if I like this better so I will let you guys know in another video maybe if I like that better um what else okay I think that's all the things that I purchased on this little rant after the uh buy, no buy february and march is over but i did want to bring to you a black owned brand i know i just should have did this in february but it don't matter it's women's history month so i'm gonna give this woman her kudos okay so if you follow and as she would say my good girlfriend over on assessmatized i think that is her um assessmatized is her instagram name but the makeup is by the makeup brand is called Kiki Thunder. Y'all, when I when she does her lipstick, she's she's from Baltimore, and I will tag her and link her page so you guys can go get it if you like the swatches. But uh the brand of the makeup is called Kiki Kiki Thunder is the lip gloss brand. And uh she sent me, well, I ordered a set of minis um because I wanted to try them all out. So she sent me her little signature here. It says, Thank you, Kiki. Um, it comes with um, the little card. It says, um, hello, beautiful. Because if you watch her page, you know she always say, hello, beautiful. Um, she will say, thank you for your support, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, you really, you, we truly appreciate you and can't wait to see you rocking our new products. Um, and it says XOXO and it's so cute. So here is how it comes packaged. Packaging. Mm, so good okay and it says kiki thunder on there and this little ribbon and you can actually you can take that off and then you get a box of the minis so it is a box of four lippies you guys and i'm going to swatch these lip colors for you because bay bay they are given all the things okay so we have the first color in miss kiki thunder um, and you can also go on her website, and I will link her website below, and you can order the big size of these. These are just the minis because I wanted to try them out um, because her lipstick, are, her lipstick game is always on point, okay? Um, and just imagine this and put that Juvia Place on top. Your lips going to be popping. Okay. So anyway, back to Kiki Thunder. Again, packaging, superb. Her name on it, Kiki Thunder. This is going to be the color White Lock. Okay, we're going to swatch it here. That is what it looks like. It's more of a nude shade. Uh-huh. 
and we like a new we like a good nude shade so that is white lock this is going to be this is the fudgery and all of her lipsticks are named after places in baltimore that she um where she's from so this is um really really cool i'm glad that i was able to support my sister uh and get these lippy so if y'all have something that y'all selling and it's good y'all tag it down below or leave me a comment and i will definitely go check it out like i love supporting black women black business black everything black excellence okay here's the next color this is called over east and that's a nice little cranberry-ish color it's called over east ova over like it's over um, that's that one. Y'all, so pretty, right? This one right here, baby, she rocks this one. And I look, this is the one that made me actually want to go and buy this. This is Norma Jean, honey. I don't know who Norma Jean is, but baby, she got it when she made this color. Y'all look at Norma Jean. Look how rich and pink she is. Like, mm, so good, right? And then the last one is Crazy John's. And this is your red. You know, when you're looking for a red to rock, you're looking for, and they're all matte, guys. They are all matte. You see that? Crazy John, look at him. These are all matte colors. And they're all by the brand Kiki Thunder. So if you would like to purchase anything from her website, or if you like any of the colors that I have shown you here, definitely go over to her website and pick your favorite color or just buy the set of minis and you get all five of these cute little gals right here that you can mix and match with your outfits. Mm, mm, mm. Love these. Okay, so I'm glad I got these. I'm glad I was able to show you them finally because I got those way before February, y'all. They'll let you know how long I've been holding on to them. But anyway, I think I'm going to close this collectiveness down, okay, and clean up all this mess that I got over here that I done started. And I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave me some comments down below. Let's chop it up. Um, go ahead and follow your girl over on CG on Trend on Instagram. Don't worry about TikTok because I ain't over there all the time. And then I heard they about to shut that thing down. But anyway, here I am on YouTube and on Instagram. Follow your girl and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.